Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Long time no see, I know. Today I have so much to do around the house and I thought it would be nice to take you guys along with me. I have some cleaning to do, I have some reorganization to do, I have some straighten up to do. It's been a while since I've been here so I just wanted to check in. I hope you guys are doing well. I will start being more consistent on YouTube because I went part time with my full time job so I'll have more time with social media but I will commit to one video a week. I don't care what it is so you guys want. I'm putting it out there on the universe. A self accountable to post one video every single week so I hope you guys are ready for that. But truly, so I just want to know how you guys are doing, so make sure you leave me a comment, let me know how you've been, what you've been up to, how was your holiday, because this is like the day after 4th of July, so hopefully you guys are well and safe. So I have my camera here, and this is some of the things that I would do. I do have a sponsor post to record today, don't mind the stuff on the counter. Um, we're not going to worry about but my dishwasher is actually a sponsorship with Samsung there's like a sponsorship that was like way way overdue um, so I'm going to straighten up empty it out clean it out take pictures for that sponsorship I want to get everything done today this is like I'm um, going towards my IG account and also, as you can see, we have lots of cleaning, which I'll let the kids take care of recycle. I did receive a few goodies in that I might share within this vlog. I'm not sure yet, but um, lots of cute little changes that happen in my home since the last video that you guys have seen. This is the new rug that I'm obsessed with. It's a bit small. As you guys can tell, it's just a tad bit small. For the couch it sits right the leg sits right on the carpet so I did order a bigger one which is right here in the entryway if you guys haven't seen my makeover my entryway makeover I'll leave the video above so you guys can check it out I love 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 how everything turned out is definitely a bright up the space this entryway do get a little dark because we don't have like windows like right here so it gets a little dark so we did switch out to so some recess light that's super bright from i think this was from lowe's from lowe's it was kind of expensive but it was so worth it i had different set throughout the home i did buy a set from Amazon for like I think it was like a hundred dollars, but it wasn't as bright as this one as you guys can see This one definitely brights up the whole space. It looks amazing. So it definitely helps out not having um, Not having actually like a window right here to brighten up the entryway So yeah, I would definitely link it there if it's still available. But yeah, this is the new rug Right here, don't mind this mess. We were actually watching a movie yesterday. And we got some chocolate here. So this is just a reminder for me to clean it out. And I also bought a runner. Or, yeah, not a little runner, but like a little rug for my entrance, which will go there. I actually want to get the same rug for my backyard. Let me show you guys quickly how it looks like. So, Okay, so this is how the rug looks like. It's so, so pretty. Kind of expensive, but it's worth every single cent. It's just true to color. As you see it, it's like a cream and white. It's not a white and black. Um, but it's so, so beautiful. You guys know I'm obsessed with black and white. So this is the new rug that will be going in my formal living room. And that one will be coming here. Because as you can tell, this one is a little smaller for the space. And this is one of the rooms that I have to clean out today. We've been watching movies, hanging out as a family. So it needs some TLC. But we're going to get through it. But let me first get to recording that getting content for that dishwasher and then we'll work into cleaning so here i was trying to clear out one side of my kitchen and try to put pretty much everything on the island so i can focus on like the dishwasher area kind of like stage few areas of the dishwasher but you know the sponsorship is although is amazing 
it can be it can cost a lot and also can be a lot of stress um, if I hire a photographer there might be some stuff that the brand might ask for me to reshoot so I feel like it'll be kind of a waste so I feel like investing in another camera I'm actually looking at getting another body for my lenses and so I can do these things on my own but yeah I definitely want to elevate my photography skills I am taking a few classes on pictures and also like just in general how to work my camera but yeah I was just trying to get this place ready for this partnership I'm done with the first part of the dishwasher I just need to get a few more shoot but I'm running a cycle right now and I'm going to get the final look after or final video after that is done with for the meantime I do have dishes in the sink that's kind of hidden so I will take care of that and then we're gonna work our way to kind of I want to swipe out this rug I'm not going to lie I really really do we'll see the strength I have <laughs> once I start moving one um, and then we run upstairs because I have to clean my room and also clean my master bathroom so quite a bit to do It's going to be confusing to some of you guys that I'm running the dishwasher, but I'm washing dishes by hand. So reason why being um, one of the do nots from this campaign is do not take pictures or anything with dirty dishes. And obviously because it is a pay partnership or any form of collaboration, it actually looks nice for the brand. So I have like all white dishes, all matching cups and things like that. Instead of having like random things, that we use on the daily in those pictures so the reason why I kind of hand wash these and kept although it's clean dishes but I have it on a very fast cycle I'm going to take pictures and also final shoot after it's done so I want to make sure it's all seamless don't mind me I have <laughs> my other cameras here so what I have planned today I'm going to I move some chairs around um, just to take pictures you guys the struggle is real um, so I'm going to put this back we need to move this mirror hopefully when hubby comes home today we will because it was originally here in the entryway and I still have one more coat of paint to do in the entryway let me turn on the light here yeah I want to do use a spray gun to spray it down so it can be like nice and even um yeah so one more coat to do on this wall but that's not 
what I want you guys here for. So this mirror was originally there, but I love that decorative box so much more without the mirror. So I will get eventually a console table here. Moving this one, but I have planned for this. Yeah, this wall is very iffy. Like it's, it's a very iffy wall. And I'm like, I'm not sure what to put there. At first I thought about this mirror, but the couch is right there. So I love this console table there just because it gives some kind of decorative something for you to look forward to when you're on this side. Story about this chair. Um, I ordered these. They're supposed to be counter and they came counter height. Um, so I processed a return and I was told to hold on to the item for two weeks and I was going to get told by the warehouse whether they want it back the items and then never email me back but I did refund my money so I love these I do want the counter height um but since we have them right now I'm keeping it I'm not going to because they said dispose that I'm like who will dispose a brand new item So Valerie came to the rescue and we were able to move it on our own. Valerie helped me and we're able to swipe this rug. Now we're gonna put this one back in place. Come on, Val. So we're gonna swipe it out. It's a bit dark in this room. Turn the this light on, Valerie. No, the main light. This is the light that I was telling you guys about from those. So Another thing that I want to update in this room, I think I already mentioned the console table, the mirror console table, but I also love to update the coffee table to something round and something a bit more smaller, but I'm not going to get rid of my glam coffee table. I absolutely am obsessed with this one. Um, so I'm not going to get rid of it, but definitely I am on the lookout for a new coffee table, something more kid friendly and also like we don't have to worry about fingerprints and things like that. So this rug was a six by nine and I thought I ordered an eight by 10, but it was a partnership through Instagram. And I guess when I gave the dimension to the person I was working with, I gave them a wrong side, but I was able to get a nine by 12 for my formal living room and use the eight by 10 that was in my formal living room in my family room so love 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 that if you guys did not see my family room makeover i will leave it right here it was actually a dining room but we don't need a formal dining room at the moment so we really felt that it was convenient to turn this space into a family room where the wall space makes more sense and our family room that's our current formal living room the wall space just doesn't make any sense because of the layout and how to watch tv and i also have the link to everything for my home down below is one link so if you click on that main link it will take you to like to know it is a free web and mobile app where all the links so when you click on that one link all the items from my living room my family room every item that i could possibly link will be linked down below 
The mirror console table is from Pier 1, and I know Pier 1 is out of business, but you, but you can find that same exact console table at Z Gallery, also Wayfair. So I will link a couple down below if you guys are interested. My coffee table is from Michael Amini, is a discontinued item. Um, and I also had the top mirror done. So I was thinking at first to have the top mirror changed out to a marble stone. Just have a piece of marble or a piece of stone just cut to that dimension of the very top. But at the same time, it's kind of big for the space. And I want to create more space for um, our family room. So I thought a round coffee table will work out. I'm actually looking at one on CB2. Um, but yeah, just definitely taking my time with pieces and also we only been in this house for almost a year and I am so grateful that we have done so much. Sometimes I have to remind myself to slow down, stop, and also realize how blessed I am and how much I have achieved within one year of being in this home. I feel like sometimes we just want to snap our finger and let things happen overnight, but it's not the case. Things are expensive, budget. Take your time, do it once and do it right. But yeah, guys, I absolutely am enjoying the process of this home. Looking back at the good times before it all went down. Climb right up on the hillside. A different view of my life. You left me right. Okay guys, as y'all saw, myself and Valerie went ahead and moved the rug. I absolutely love it. It looks so good. Went ahead, we swapped the rug. I love it. I kind of pushed most of it towards the fireplace um, just because I feel like this walkway is so narrow. Reason why I'm going to, now that I have a bigger rug, I feel like it makes it more narrow and then also we finally I told you guys about the the bar stool slash counter stool situation so before we had nothing here we just had a console table and it worked now that I have the bar stool and the console table I feel like it is a bit too narrow so I will move this one into the entryway and see how it works <laughs> So my plan for this entryway is to have a black concrete console table from RH is should be here within a month or less hopefully and this console table is going to go to my upstairs landing space. I have a frames that I got from Target is like a dupe for RH. I have four of them so I'm going to add like black and white pictures with that console table with some beautiful flowers and let that place just speak life to my home. Um, upstairs is mainly where I keep like family pictures. I will have some family pictures downstairs, but I don't like a lot of pictures on my walls. It's just me. I just like like a, a designated area with just a gallery wall of family pictures, but I don't like seeing family pictures all over the place. And I really don't like artwork all over the place as well on my wall. 
So you can call me picky. However, I think we all have our nicks and nacks that we do and we don't like. So that's one of mine. This console table is a dupe for Irish. It's actually from Safavea. I got it from Overstock. So gorge. Love it. It's very heavy and very sturdy. So I have a link down below for you guys. so much shop around my home moved that vase a thousand times i did not leave this the way y'all saw it just now i switched it and i switched it again story of my life so right now i'm just sweeping i'm going to mop i have a dyson right i love my wireless vacuum but there's something in me i don't know if because i'm from i'm originally from my because africa and I'm used to getting between the grooves and grounds with a broom. But I feel like until I use a broom, I'm not satisfied on how clean my space is. Cause with the vacuum, you don't get into little crevices and there's few areas it's a bit tight. So I always go in with my broom and then I, my vacuum, especially if I have to vacuum the rug and things like that. I don't use my broom obviously on my rug but something about my room that i just can't let go of. and i do clean my room every week you guys what i do i let it sit in hot water you know and clean it out let the dirt come off and then i dry it outside so random but i thought i'd share this so that is it for today's video i hope you guys love it let me know your thoughts down below what video you like to see and also you guys were getting so close to fall not close but close enough for content creator to start pulling out pumpkins so let me know when you want to see for content i hope you guys are doing well i hope you are safe wherever you are and i'll see you guys very soon in a brand new video bye